Well, speaking of Bahamar, the Grand Hyatt's April 2017 opening set the stage for the opening of the SLS property, the second of three hotel properties at Bahamar expected to employ a combined 5,000 Bahamians. Now, months later, the SLS is open and welcoming guests. Tonight, Siesca Adderley gives a look into the SLS Bahamar ahead of tonight's Rosewood opening. For the past six months, Bahamar's SLS guests have been receiving stylish luxury service thanks in part to its world-class amenities. We have the, the wildlife sanctuary. Uh, we have an abundance of restaurants to choose from. We have Katsuya, which is our Japanese restaurant. We have an Italian restaurant called Filia, which is uh, by the award-winning Miami chef Michael Schwartz. And we have Cleo, our restaurant over here, which is Eastern Mediterranean. And then we have the day club, which is Privilege Pool, where um, people can enjoy the pool to music and a great, a great DJ, a great vibe. And if you're the kind of person who likes to stay up late at night and go to a nightclub, there's no better place than Bond, our nightclub. The 299-room resort is SLS's first outside of the United States and the second to open under the Bahama brand. General Manager Richard Alexander says since opening day, it's been a whirlwind experience for him and the more than 600 associates he leads. But he says it's well worth it to know that their guests are satisfied. We opened in November. We went straight into festive Christmas, New Year. We had good occupancy then. January, February, as you know, is the high season in the Bahamas. We had um, some great guests staying with us. And what is most interesting of all is the nature in which the local Bahamians have um, celebrated our opening. Um, I'm delighted to say that many of our restaurants and bars are frequented by local Bahamians. And the, the feedback we're getting is very, very positive. With the property welcoming guests on a daily basis now, Alexander looks to build upon its initial success by adding to guests' offerings with a high-end steakhouse and the country's first rooftop bar. He's excited about the future and is confident that the resort will do well. But I think what's unique about this particular property is that we're part of the Bahama family. You know, Bahama is made up of Grand Hyatt, um, that magnificent large property, uh, Rosewood soon to open, which is the boutique, uh, high luxury um, resort. And then ourselves, we, we're kind of considered to be the naughty child of the family. Uh, we do things slightly differently. We have more of an adult playground concept. Um, and uh, so I think that's a really unique offering to any traveler. So if you have plans to monkey around anytime soon, whether it's for a relaxing night out or for a full out vacation, officials here at SLS want you to make a stop at the Monkey Bar. See Scott or Lee ZNS Network News.